Welcome to Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. I am Chaos, your host as always. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, this is going to be our second edition of the, uh, what am I, I'm going to call this the uh, free game to a good home, uh, of, uh, free games to a good home. That's what we're going to call this. Um, we gave away uh, a Spoils of War uh, board game, so if anybody didn't get a chance, please do check that out. Quick little tutorial video, uh, kind of ran through the game, and then myself, Spartan, and Grim played that game, checked it out. We had fun. It was a really good game, liked a lot of what was in it. Um, very fun, very interesting to see the interactions and the results, which you may not be as surprised. Winner. But, hey, um, not trying to boast or anything. We're trying to give away free game, free board games here. So uh, today's edition, we are going to check out the game Flourish. So uh, this is the board game, one of the free games that I got out of a mystery box from Gen Con. Please do check out that video if you haven't had a chance to. We got this, Spoils of War, a number of other games. Uh, it was fun. It, it's some very interesting games. Uh, I think some of them are going to be pretty cool. This one, um, it's okay. It's not bad. It took a little bit to get used to. Uh, I'm going to play the video here in just a minute, let you guys see that. But basically, you are trying to build your own garden. So, I mean, not the, the greatest subject. I, I just go out and, you know, do some yard work and garden myself. It's kind of you know, gritty to get some dirt under your nails. But um, if you are just looking to kind of kick back, relax, and build you a little virtual, in your mind, imaginary garden, this is the way to do it. So uh, this game was a Kickstarter. This comes with a Kickstarter-only exclusive expansion. We did not play the expansion. We only played the base game. Uh, it took us a minute to realize the uh, expansion was included with this so you're gonna get a lot more than just the base game the base game would just be some cards and a few different things um the there's a pets expansion and then another expansion in there uh that are kickstarter only exclusive so you are gonna get this free of charge uh, just like I did with the Spoils of War, please do just hit me with a comment below. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little bit of a tutorial on how to play this. Um, everything's already put together. Um, I'm going to include that before I give you guys the um, video of us playing the game. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a uh, peek behind the curtain on us sitting there trying to put together these little... Uh, let me show you. Let me show you. So this is the game. We're gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy open. I'm gonna show you what's in here. So all the extra. So we only did a three-player game. So there are the other player cards that need to be put together still. So those are still in the sheets. Um, it's got the rule set in multiple languages, which is very nice. It had it. I think it was like French and then english and then it had uh, german it has the instructions in multiple languages very nice very appreciative of that kind of stuff uh i like to see you know when some companies you know take that kind of thing in mind and take that into consideration so um that was very cool and interesting so we're going to scoot these to the side and yes so these are some other player cards, again, that are still in the sheet. You'll have to put these together yourself. Uh, we did put together some of these, but not all. We did enough just to do our three-player game. So uh, you're going to have, there's like extra rules where you get like the person with the most. So there's a number of different icons. Um, let me get my other camera kicked on here so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Um, there's a number of icons that are in, on these cards. Uh, interpreting them is pretty straightforward for the most part. Um, but I will say it did take us a little bit to kind of get the, the grasp and understanding of what is going on. So 
essentially how it works is you've got your little instruction cards. The instruction card shows you, you know, how many points you get for each icon and where. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to show you guys a couple of the cards. So what it is here. So as you're building these, and let me, uh, let me switch up real quick. Let me, here we go. So as you're playing through the game, you're going to be playing these cards to build your garden. So what they end up doing is, all right, let me grab, let me grab the rules here. It's a, a very simple game, very straightforward. Again, we just played the base game. We did not play with the expansion. Um, so if you guys are interested, once you pick up the game, it's yours, it's free. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to check that out. Here we go, rules of play. So, uh, rule set's not very large. Basically just front and back and you don't even use all of this. So, uh, set up each player, uh, give each player a scoreboard, which again, we only needed enough for three players. So we have these set up. So you've got the little scoreboard, you put it at zero. So it's got, um, a little dial that you just turn. So, Hey, we got zero there. And then we're going to turn this one to zero. So. Score is zero. As you go up and score, you just turn these. So it's 100, tens, and ones. So if I've got a score of 97 points, there you go. Or I've got a score of 997 points, which that would be an insane game. But I think we got up in the, I think, hundreds. I think we got up in the hundreds. Maybe in just the 80s. I forget. Um been a couple of weeks since we played this game but it was interesting i will say it's interesting not our bag uh but definitely interesting it would definitely be something that i would play with a younger group or um you know just for something kind of a, a little bit simpler not too complex um i think really just a lot of the subject matter just didn't super appeal to us but again it wasn't what by no means was it bad um i've played much worse games much worse games so um and you can even do solo you can play this solo it's got solo rules but uh i'll just read through these real quick give each player a scoreboard set at zero place a wall piece between each player so what you're gonna see is this so we've got let's say we're just going to play like we've got three characters. So each character's got their, you know, their their card. And then you're going to set up a wall. And then there's another player over here. So you've got a wall between them. All there. And then you've got a wall between this player and this person. And then a little wall between this player and this person. So that's essentially... There we go. So you guys can see it. So each player at the table will be sitting there. They have their scorecard, a little wall. And then, you know, this is me. This is, uh, I believe, Grim. And then Spartan, you know, was on my left-hand side. So what you do is this. Place a wall between each player. Shuffle the deck and deal six cards to each player as their starting hand. Players can look at their hands. Uh, place the deck in the middle of the table. During the game, each player will build a garden in the space in front of them. So, all right. Card details. Okay, so, let me grab a card or grab a couple of them all right so there's going to be the end of round scoring so at the end of each round so there's only going to be three rounds 
At the end of each round, you get a score up here, and there's going to be different icons and different things, but this is going to be the end of round scoring. Uh, this, these symbols here are what are in your garden. The bottom right, bottom left corner, some cards will have an icon such as this in the bottom left hand corner that is a stone symbol or plant name. So those will go towards um, like end of the game results. So like this result here is uh, at the end of the game in your garden, you're going to get one extra point for every blank square that you have like in this bottom corner. Pretty, pretty straightforward there. So, um, and then, yeah. So that's pretty much, yeah, the, the bottom right hand corner is the end of game scoring. So like this one shows um, mushrooms. So at the end of the game, for every mushroom that I have in my garden on all cards, I'm going to get two points. So let's say I've got a card like this that has two mushrooms. This card at the end of the game is going to give me two points for each mushroom. So two, four. So this would be at the end of the game would be four points that I would accumulate. So, uh, but let me read through it. I'll just read through these real quick. Uh, each turn of the game is played simultaneously by all players. Uh, each turn you will begin with six cards in your hand. Choose one card to play face down and two cards to pass. So, um, essentially with the setup, say I'm here this is Grim, this is Spartan. So I have six cards in my hand. I'm going to pick one to put face down in front of me. And then I'm going to pick two more. I'm going to pass one to Grim face down, and I'm going to pass one to Spartan face down. And that's the end of that turn. Then I'm going to draw three more cards. They're going to do the same. Each one of us is all at the same time. We're each going to do the same. Or um, not draw three cards. Correction. Uh, I'm going to put one card face down in front of me. I'm going to pass one to Grim. I'm going to pass one to Spartan. And then they're going to do the same. They're going to pass, each of them is going to pass me a card face down and put one in front of themselves. And that's the first part of the turn. The two cards that they have passed to me, I'm going to pick up and add to my hand and draw one more card. So now I'm back to six. Then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do that again until I have placed three cards in front of me. So there's a lot of trade. There's a lot of card movement going on. But so just to break it down, I have six cards. Take one face down here. Trade Grim. Trade Spartan. That's going to be me. They're going to do the same. I'm going to put this on the other side of his wall so he knows it's his. I'm going to put this on his uh, side of the wall so that way he knows that's his as well. That's what the main thing for the walls is to separate that, hey, I'm passing this to the other players. Uh, once I have done that, then they're going to do the same. So I'm going to have a card from Grim. I'm going to have a card from Spartan. And I'm going to have three in my hand. So now... With the deck that's in the middle of the table. There we go. With the deck that's in the middle of the table. I'm going to draw one card. And I'm going to take the two cards that they gave to me. Back up to six. Now, do it again. You're going to do that until you reach a point where you have three. Each of us has... three 
face down cards. And then one, two, three, five, six. So we're going to keep doing that until each of us has three face down cards in front of us. Six cards in hand. That's the end of the round. Now, end of the round, we flip our cards. And as I had mentioned before, this is when um, any of the cards that have these icons in the top left, you're going to score those as you are supposed to. Uh, we kind of did it a little wrong. I was putting them face up while we were doing each round. You're supposed to put these face down and then everybody reveal them at the same time. That's my mistake, but it took a little bit of interpreting. But um, So I've got, you know, let's say I've got this. And so like with the cards that I have here, I only have one that actually has that icon. So I get two points. So on this, I'm going to be two points because none of the other cards, the cards that I all, that I laid, we'll say this was one of the cards. So with the cards that I laid down, the only thing that I laid down that had an end of round scoring is this middle one here. This guy. That one card is the only card that gave me any points at the end of this round. So I have a number of things that are on these cards in the bottom right hand corner, but those are end of game scoring um, mechanics. So that's what I've started with. I've got you know, my three cards at the end of this round, I've got six in hand. Oh, drew one. Now I've got six in hand. We go to the next round and do it again. You do three rounds and then you score the end of game mechanics. And then the person with the highest points wins. Pretty straightforward. It's not bad. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. It's not bad. It, it wasn't super, super entertaining, but... It's still not a bad game by any means. It was all right. Um, we still had a ball with it. We're competitive. We play. We don't mind whatever the game type is. We'll 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 try to kick the crap out of each other with it. So, um, so I guess just kind of reviewing this card as it is. So this card here uh, tells you how the different symbols work. Um, some of the stuff that's on this card will actually look at my opponent's gardens and give me points depending on how they have their garden set up. Um, so what cards I give them, I want to be strategic on because I don't want to give them cards that's going to help them build their garden stronger or build up more points than I am. So unless I'm planning on maybe loading up one person with a certain type of flower and then I have a bunch of end of game mechanics that work off of opponents gardens so uh, it, there's some strategy to it there is there's a, a pretty strong bit of strategy that you can throw into this to to make it a pretty competitive game um so what i'm gonna do like i said i am gonna let you guys go ahead and watch this video check it out um throw me a comment in the section in the comment sections below uh, and what I'll do is I'll pick somebody to win this box, win this game. I will ship it out free of charge. You, all you gotta do is, you know, say hi. That's it. Um, and, I mean, if you want something, uh, tell me your favorite flower. We'll go with that. It's gardening. Or just in general, what's your favorite do, thing to do in the garden? Do you like mulching? Do you like mowing the garden? Do you like... Uh, digging holes do you like what do you like when it comes to actual gardening if you get out of the house and gardening or maybe just your favorite flower whatever you like throw me a comment below i'll pick somebody to win this game get it shipped out to you so that way you can enjoy and partake of the fun uh, maybe this suits more to your liking um, again not bad it's all right i can play it without a problem uh, so other than that you guys take it easy i'm gonna let you get to the video and that's uh, about it. All right, I'll let you get to it. Take it easy.
actually here. Let me go pop this up here. Uh, flourish. There we go. All right. So that's a quick tutorial on the Flourish game. Uh, if you would throw me a comment in the section below, uh, let me know what you like to do. Do you like to go out and garden? Do you not like to go out and garden? What's your favorite flower? If you do gardening, what do you like to do? What's your favorite thing? Do you like digging holes, uh, planting, planting flowers, planting vegetables? I know a lot of people that do homesteading and vegetables and that kind of stuff. Throw me a comment below. What do you like to do if you like getting out and getting dirty? Uh, if not, if you just like certain types of flowers, let me know what that type of flower is. Uh, what I'll do, I'll pick somebody that is uh, that hits like, has put a comment below, and is subscribed to the channel. Uh, and I will ship this out to you free of charge. You ain't got to pay for nothing. I uh, just appreciate you coming in, checking out, watching videos, hanging out with us here at Chaotic Beagle Entertainment. That's all I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and let you all get to the video. Uh, check it out. Me, Spartan, Grim, we threw down on this. Uh, see who was going to be able to uh, take away the win. Let me switch up here. Ha-ha! So you can see me a little better. Uh, but yeah, throw me a comment below. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when we do another uh, free games to a good home uh, good home uh, event on here. Uh, we're going to try and do more of these coming up. I've got a bunch of different games that I did some unboxings on. Uh, again, this came out of one of the mystery boxes from Gen Con. So please check that out. Come back, hang out with us. Uh, uh, other than that, I'm going to let you get to it so that way y'all can check out the video. And then uh, I'll pick a winner here shortly and send it off to you. I'll give you a contact and let you know that you're the, the happy winner of a lucky new game. So, uh, that's about all I've got for you. I'll let you guys get to the video so you can check that out. Otherwise, y'all have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. One down to play, then I pass two. Yep. Um, so. I'm going to pass these two. And you pass one to the left, one to the right. Yep. And we don't look at these, right? We because we can't not we have to play at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Not until you're gonna. Not until we go to play. So we and then play draw one. Card. So you go back up to six. So we play one, and um, we pass two, right? Yes. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna play that one. No. Oh. And then. I'm gonna give that one there. And I'll give. That one there. That one. And okay, so oh, we play it face up? We yeah, play yeah. Card? Oh, yeah okay. you, you're building your garden, so okay. yeah. And then we draw one card, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm still waiting on a card from you. Yes. And then we draw so one. I take these two, and then I draw a card, mm -hmm. and then you play another card and do it again. can't even see what Mark's got. This isn't kind of in the way, so I just kind of want to move Yeah, just, this. just get it back around. Really, we don't. I thought we needed it, but we don't need it. Yeah, what are those for? When do you get those? When we're building the garden. Like, when I think after rounds, we put stuff out, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't say anything about, you know, this player gets We should have watched a video. <laughs> That's what we're making. <laughs> All right. That one. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pass... Uh, I'll play that one. I'll pass these two. I'll play that one. And pass. And I'll pass this one. That one. And yeah. that one. I'll pass that one. I get these. Okay, and, and then make sure to draw, so you're back up to six. And we just do that three times, right? Yep. And yes. that'll be round one. And this last round, does it matter if we pass? Because. Yes. Yeah, you still got to do it. I'll 
Play, oh, oh, oh. Play that one. Play that one. And I'll pass that one and that one. And then I'll draw one from here. And then this is the one you gave me, right, Mark? Yep. Cool. I played one. So that's a mark. Do I still draw one even though this is the end of the yep. row? Yeah. And then I just need one from you when you're done. And then that score your points for first round. Okay, right, so, so I got one, two, three. That's it. So I've got so I get one for a row, so I have two roses here. So I get two there, right? And then I have one yeah. for each of the blues. So that's just so the end of the round, you didn't put out any that do the end of round scoring. So you don't get any points for that round. Okay. But <clears throat> later round at the end of the game. I'm just saying. So at the end of the game. That's what these are, right? Yeah, so like this one, end of the game, you get one point for every rose you've got and okay. one point for every green you have. Okay. And then you get another so point. So I only for get every round green. is top, end of game is here, this is everybody else. Yep. Okay. Makes sense. So I, I did this, so I get one point for every rose, one, two, three. Yes. Right. I don't get anything sense. else. Uh, these, you oh, get yeah, for every... two points for every in mine or his. So, so I've yours. got three. So you get six points if you do that for me. Yep. So you get six points there, and then another point. So that's another three points. So that's uh, 12. Yeah. 12 plus three. Okay. Yeah. So I get 15. three points. Two, three. And that's all. That's how you do it. So the top is what you get. Yeah. Top Unless is on around. his it says he, he gets two points for each one that they have. Yeah. Based on how that reads. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, and then I get uh, one point for every... Oh, uh, no. That's... That's uh, that's in yours. Yeah, yeah. This is... Okay. Yeah. Tops. So, tops in... Uh, so, how does it work? Top is what again? The round. round. Tops. Bottom is right score. is the is, uh, game. So, the end and of then the fourth what is, round. And then what is the, the ones over here again? That's what's in your garden. Okay. Yeah. That's the actual flowers that are in your actual garden. Gotcha. Okay. So. Right, and then we just and then so we leave those. So I'm assuming that's what these are. Then you scoop these up and you take, I guess, these and put them in your garden. I guess so. Because that's what it looks like it represents. Because yeah. you only play like a few rounds. You don't have any. Okay, you don't have anything. All right. Mm, set a composite variant, garden show variant. The garden show, I think, is the stand. Score the round. Check to see. Okay, check to see if any of the cards you played this round have an end-of-round scoring ability, which is going to be this. Okay. So you do the points uh, that way. If so, score the cards played this round by counting the relevant symbols on the appropriate cards, even if those cards were played on a previous round. End-of-the-round scoring abilities that were played in previous rounds do not score again. So, next round, if I play, like, I've got these mushrooms. If I play another card that says, you know, each mushroom's worth one, I count all of these. I just don't yeah. do the scoring. You so, count all the ones that are in the garden, you just don't count these. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. That yes. makes a little more sense. Mm -hmm. uh, end of the round scoring abilities that were played in previous rounds do not score again. Keep track of your score on your scoreboard. Uh, okay, after scoring the third round, draw... Draw the two cards passed to you, but do not draw an additional card from the deck. So we, but we drew uh, after the additional. third round. Oh, this after is, the this third is round, round one. Okay. One. Okay. Uh, each player chooses three cards to play face down and discards the remaining two cards face down. When all players have chosen their three cards to play, reveal the cards and then score any end of round ability. So we don't play them those. face up first. We play them face down, then we flip them all. Yeah, for the fourth round. Yeah, so you can't see what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I, Don't you do that per round? Because like, if you play them face up, you see what they're going for. Yeah, no. So on the fourth round, you pick three cards, play them face down, and then discard the other two. Okay. 
Gotcha. And then we reveal our round four, three cards at the okay. same time, score, and then highest score wins. Gotcha. Okay. So we're on round two now. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's it. It doesn't say anything about those or nothing else. Cool. All or right. mini cards or nothing. So, so we go a second round. Yep. I was gonna say, you gotta just stay, stay, here. do the same thing with them just in case. But Ooh. I'm just gonna start playing them face down and flip them when we're done. Yeah, this is the one I passed you. That Mark. one. I'm gonna send that one to Mark. <clears throat> well, if we have our cards played, we can go ahead and play them face up then, because everybody's got them. Card. And I need, yeah, I'm waiting for the one from him, too. a lot of the same cards. Well, uh, I, I think the mushrooms are getting passed around quite a bit yep. from what I've seen. Well, Among other things. Unfortunately, because I'm looking at what you guys are playing to decide what I'm going to play, and... I'm only flipping, well, like, whatever... It's supposed to happen at the same it. time, so you're not really supposed to do that anyway. I just play mine face down and then wait for them to flip the one. Because that's a, that would make more sense if you keep them like you said, keep like we were saying, keep them face down. Then at the end of the round, flip them all up. But it's only saying do that on the fourth round. Yeah. Oh, so wait, I should flip these up now. Yeah, because I mean that's the thing. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You I'm play saying them like face when, up. yeah, we play them face up. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah. What we probably need to do is make a decision. Say okay, I have my cards, and then just do it all at once rather than like playing one. Because that because if people wait, then you can see what everybody else is doing. Yeah. And I think that's kind of a little, you know, yeah. a little shysty. A little shysty. It is what it is. Yes, it is. All right, George, can I get that card I'm still waiting on? Yeah. Fuck. Hey, because I'm getting cards that would benefit you guys heavily because of the stuff that I'm playing. That's why I'm trying to limit. Don't think about it too much. I'm trying to win. And then we play one more, right? Then draw. Yeah, play one more. Oh, she's listening to Morgan podcast. I know the music. Ooh, that's nice. All right. And I need Actually, did I give you one already? Uh, oh, no. no, you I, haven't yet. You're the one I'm missing one from. I think this is the one I passed. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's round three. Mm -hmm. Do up your score. So that's how do you do this game? That's round two. Or yeah, round two. All right. So, so you get credit for anything uh, that you planted up here for here. You just don't score any of the round stuff for mm -hmm. that. So like for this one, I played, I have two of those. So since I have three, I get six points. Four. Four. So, you so get I actually get eight points. Yep. And this is end of game. Yes. Okay. So this is what you get out of it. This is what you score per round, and then okay, that makes sense. So you get credit for these from pre from future rounds, 
but you don't get any of the rounds into the next round. Okay. Yep. That makes a little bit two, more three, sense. Yeah, okay. Four. So. So I get six points. <laughs> so I get that. two points. Eight. For every rose, I'm gonna pick Mark. So I get ten points from you. Not from you, but because you have yeah. two points for every rose in roses. yours. And so, then another one yeah, point five. for every rose in your garden. So that's And where are you be... getting that? Oh, because of that. Okay. Yeah. So this is end of score. This is yeah. all end of game scoring, correct? The scoring examples? No, that's rounds. That's how the rounds... Oh, that's really? How so I should have gotten... should have scored... Like, yeah, I didn't two. score any of the roses. I played two roses and I should have gotten points for that then. You didn't have any end of round scoring. That, but that's what I'm saying. So these are based off of what this, the this end of the game... This card is only for the end of the game. Yeah. No, that's everything. That's how you score. All right. So that's I, all I should the get scoring. Nine, nine points for having three uh, beehives. Uh, if you have something that tells you, you do that scoring. Well, all I'm saying is this is... you see those symbols either up in this corner or in this corner? All I'm saying yes. is it says for the roses, score, score one point for every rose end of in game, my game. End of round. Okay. But that's I'm, just the reference card of the scoring. But, but it says score one point for every rose in your garden. Period. I have two roses in if my you garden. You have that scoring. But that's what I'm saying. Is that look, confusing? Look, look, look at the symbol. One yeah. next to the rose. Do you have one next to the rose? No, but I have two roses in my garden. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But. You have to go by this. So what that's does just this the even matter? That's the reference. Imagine that's the green. Okay. Do you have one next to the green? Yeah. So you score it that way. That's okay. just an example reference card. For what's in the... Okay, so like this. This is saying this, this, and this is... Okay, that's how you would I do that scoring. Saying. Okay. Yes. Yes, that's that's okay. that makes yes, that makes yes, a yes, little yes. bit more sense. All right, so I get five. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two. I get five points for my roses, and then oh, you have actually. blue flowers, actually. so that's mm -hmm. three. So okay. I get eight. Points. So, like, okay. So previous round, you would score one point. And one point for every blue and every mushroom in either mine or his garden. Okay. So, so I should have got more points. Well, no. You got the one. Because I didn't have any blue. He did, though. But you got to choose. One or it's the one other. one or the other. That's what the or is. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So well, you got to choose either me or him for these two symbols. Yeah. So, no, it doesn't matter. No. Yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. this one... Is roses and blues in either mine or his garden? Yeah, because so I've got three. So you get one point for every rose. So I have two. Two. So you and would have get two points. And then three for every. He doesn't blue. have any blues. Yes, I do. I have one, two, three. Oh, you got three. So you get three <clears throat> points for the blue. You pick one person to score all those against. Okay, so this doesn't count my own though. No. No. You pick between your two your opponents. So. Yeah. And you do four total rounds of this. Oh, that's lame. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's why I did One, two. the adjacent person two points for every row. So I picked you because you've got a lot of roses. And then this one is every green I get one point, which you have two, three. And every rose I get one point, and that's five. So I get one, two, three... I get eight more. So that puts me at 21. I'm at 20. I'm not doing well. I got eight. But I also didn't score any in the first round either. So mm -hmm. <clears throat> I played and a lot of end game stuff. There. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing is like I'm giving you guys cards. Like I gave you one that I've got two walls here. Mm -hmm. I gave you a card that gives you like fucking four points for every wall in adjacent. Mm -hmm. neighbor's yard so you know stuff like that that's mm -hmm. how you that's I see how it is. Or, yeah uh, okay well actually I think he might have gotten that I don't know but okay because right. this is you get three points for every wall in yours right yes at the end of the game yes okay yep cool so now we go to the second round right or the third round yes this is so third we play round. one so play one and then pass. And then pass. 
one, one. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Mm. I'm just going to start doing it this way until everybody plays their face downs. So. I mean, you can look. That You're supposed to play them face up. Oh, okay. That's yeah. Fine. So that way I can look as you guys are building your garden. <clears throat> but we're supposed to play them simultaneously and then go. Yeah. You know, then draw our hands back up and go. So I got one from you I haven't drawn yet. That I draw. I should play face up, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go. I'll just do this one and this one. And then here's the one for me. And then we play another one, right? Yep. Yep. Mm. Not getting the right one. Apparently, so I'm gonna play that one. Um, I'm gonna give. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's actually a bit of strategy to it because you don't want to give away something that. Actually, I'm going to go here. Here. I'll do this one and this one. Okay. There's the one I'm giving you, Georgie. Last one. Yeah, think, but I keep thinking. Mm. You guys don't have a lot of purple in your mm. mm. But you got to look at the, the end of the road, yeah. the end of the game scoring, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. Because that end of the game scoring can mean a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I mean, that's how I played my whole first round. I was like, oh, I want to do this. Yeah. Michigan's beating Penn State by... Shit, by... Not by much. I just need my cards for now, too. Yeah. I've already made my decision on what I was going to play. Oh. That's you. And then that one. Uh-oh. Mich and then 
like this. Okay. So, so everybody's done their round three. Again. So yep. now score your rounds. So I have two for every green. So two, four, six, eight. Yep. And I have one for every one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Yep. So 16 all together. 16. So I'm at 24. So I'm going to get two for every mushroom. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Oh, Michigan beat Penn State 21-17. Close game. Take the win, though. I think I actually don't score anything this round. No, you have a... If, if I'm If greater, you had six... Okay, yeah. you have more. Yeah, but I, I, I don't. I nope. Is this your third round? Yes. You do. You score off of me. Six points. If I'm greater than or equal to. Mm -hmm. Adjacent. Yeah. Neighbors. I'm, you, he has to have more mushrooms. I've got eight. I have to have more he mushrooms have than six. you. He has to have six. Or equal to. No no, no. no, no, That's the arrow. No. The arrow means. You get six points if a neighbor has greater than. Less than. Six. No, no, no. No, that's if you have, you get six points if you have more mushrooms than either, than any one yeah. player. That's what it is. Yeah, because you of how score it's six points if you have equal to or more than either of your neighbors. Oh, okay, okay. So you didn't want to give me that one because I would have got it. He wouldn't mm -hmm. have more roses than each of your enemies. Okay. So you would have got six points if you have equal to or more than I See, I, okay. I wasn't planning on you playing that many mushrooms this turn. <laughs> and if you hadn't, I would have had more than you. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. But uh, that's what I get. Well, no, it's the entire thing. Mm -hmm. So... It's okay. Yeah. Because, like, if I would have played that card, then I would have got the six points. Because I have more mushrooms than you or you. So that would have probably been a card that you could should have given, like, him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that way, he wouldn't have got any points off of it. That That's one that would have did me well, but not him. Well, at the time, he didn't have any mushrooms out. So I thought I was going to get him. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have got it anyway, because... I have. You have oh, five, I so would have had greater than You would have had greater than either oh, or. Okay, okay. It's I'll not the you. and, it's either or. He'd have more oh, than Oh, yeah, me. it is the pick. It's the pick. Never mind, never mind. Yep. Yep, yep. What is everybody's score right now? I'm just curious after the third round. Um, I'm at 37. 37. You're at 37? I'm at 24. Yeah. Awesome. So now we go fourth round, right? And this one, you play all three face yeah, down. Yeah, all three face down. And give two away, right? Yes. Scoop this up so I can get my board on the camera here. Yep. So yeah, you will actually hang on. Let me let me read it just in case. Yeah. So after scoring the third round, draw two cards. Pass to you. Oh, but do, do not draw the additional from the deck. So you'd only be set with five. So we don't have the five. Okay, so I'm yeah. just going to put the one that I drew last there. Yeah, this is the one that I drew. Here, put that's the one I drew, yeah. so just that's put them the there. So the one you drew, so you have five cards. You play three, discard two, <clears throat> and then we flip them all at once. Mm. So player chooses three cards to play face down, discards the remaining two cards face down, when all players have chosen their three cards to play, reveal the cards, then score any end of round abilities played. So how does that work? Uh, yeah. Put the three face down you want. Mm -hmm. And then once we've all done that, we're going to flip the three cards and do the end of round. Total up your points, and then we're going to do end of game abilities. So, I discard what? Uh, discard two. Play three, discard two. Okay. Well, you should have been at five, but it's fine. Oh, because I drew? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't supposed to draw before this. So, we don't yeah. pass, we, we all just did discard? It. Yeah. Yeah, discard those two. So, junk them. Yeah. Can I do some math here real quick? So that's mm. And then... Junk those. Still less. So I'm junking those two, and I'm playing these. So I'll do that. 
Okay. All right. So, so flip. Flip. And do your end of rounds. Well, you do the... Yeah, so you do the round move. So... Yeah. I'm going to get two, four, six, eight more fungus. So I'm going to so get... I'm at 32. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen points. And that's all I get for the round. Mm-hmm. So that's... Do you have any purples one. over there? I have one purple. Uh, I've got Because this has all five colors. Oh, okay. Sweet. Yeah. I've got one purple. I all thank right, you for so... giving me that because that's nine point. That's nine right there because I have one of everything. If you have one or more of each plant symbol in your garden. Oh. And see, this gives me all oh, of them. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why you passed that to me. I'm like, well, shit, that's a free nine. I'll take it. Yeah, but <clears> like... It I didn't mean, have any end of round, and really, you were. I kind of knew. Yeah. I kind of knew My you were game, a I'm going for anyway. Well, I'm going for end game, so yeah, that was yeah. kind of what I was going for. These All right, are, so I just get a point for every green and every purple you have. For every green and purple, mm -hmm. so one, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. You get seven. Yep. Mm -hmm. At 27 at the end of the round, and mm -hmm. then we do game totals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to have at least one rose to qualify, I think, for the game. In the game, was what it read, I think. It said no, something about I think about the you roses. just do these for the end of game. Yeah, you just do the the bottom right corners. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. The, no. The, it, it, there was something that you were required to have something to qualify. Like I just remember uh, you saying that. Let's see. Solo rules. Let me see. End of game. Finally, all players score all cards in their garden that have an end of game ability. Mm -hmm. The player with the highest score wins the game if tied, blah, 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 if tied, if tied, if tied. Mm -hmm. I just heard you say something like you had to have a rose to qualify or something Nine, like that. It was weird. 18. Uh, I think that was on a variant. So it gives me one, two. So on the ones like this, do I get three per that symbol? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And then green, I have one. All right, so. Uh, 9, 18. So, 3, 6, 9, 12. 18, 12. Okay, so I'm going to get. Six points. Who has the most of the? I guess it's a wall symbol. That's this symbol. Me. Uh, it's both. You get three points for every wall in both opponents. I don't have. Oh, it's and. Yeah. I don't have any. Walls. So you count up all my walls, all his walls. You get three per, which I've got I, one, two. I've got two. So six, yep. twelve, because I've got that twice. Five, six, seven. Yep. So twelve, and then. So I did that one. I did this one. Three. Oh, um, I get two for all each of your beehives. How many beehives do you have? Uh, one, two. And how many beehives do you have? None. So that's four. None of that. I don't have any of that. Get four points for each row. Three gets one. Two, three, four, five, six, four. I don't have any, I have a tree and then a grass pathway. Those you are the only two walls. structures I have. So I don't get no points for that. So I ended up with 84. You beat me by two. Oh. 82. Oh. My end, we'll see here. I had one row, so one, two, three. I had that again, so that's another six. Then I had one, two, three of the green ones. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 18 more there. I had one purple from here. The blue, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two is 14. Uh, and then I get, because I had that again, and then the green I had another one, so it was another six, and then this gave me nine. This one card gave me nine, because it gave yeah. me one of every flower. Yeah, but you don't have anything that scores that. You have to have this to score that nine. Oh, then never mind. Then I had to lose by, uh... Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that. That's with that. Okay. Yeah, you don't so automatically, like, mind. the sets it one, says on here, two, you don't automatically three, get that. Four, five, you have to have six, an end seven, round eight, or end of game yeah. thing. It's yeah. fine. I'm at 73 then. Yeah. It just changed my by nine, by nine points then. I just don't under, well, I don't understand how I lost by that much then. I had more end game stuff. You had more no, rounds. I have a lot of end game stuff. Yeah. You had a lot of walls. So you got three points for every hive in yours. Which is one, two, three. No, it's five. One, one two, three. Oh, I missed one. Oh, no. It's four. 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 So that's 12. So you get nine points if you have three roads. Yep, I do. One, two, three. So that's another nine. So that's nine, 12, <laughs> 21 points. And then... You get six points for all the walls, for each wall, in both of yours, mine and his, which I had one, two. I had two, so that's twelve more. So twenty-one. That's thirty-three. Didn't have any walls there. Oh, it's forty-six plus the twenty I had, so it actually takes me mm -hmm. to six, uh, sixty-six. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. And then nine if you have one of every color. Which I do. So it's, what did I say, 33, that's 42. Oh, wait a minute. No. Neither of us scores that nine. Because that symbol has to be, this is just for the round. That has to have the, the, cut, the flower symbol on it for it to count for this. No. No, because yeah. the way it reads, score nine That's if you have one or more of each plant symbol in your garden. Yeah, it's going by these, so you yeah. do get it. so it's it. going by those. This yeah. is a road with the green, and there's different stuff. Like, so I get four points for every road I have that has a mushroom on it. So I've got one, because this is a road with a mushroom. This just corresponds with this. Mm. Yeah, so I've got this one road that has mushrooms. If it was mu if it, if I had yours that was a road with the green, I wouldn't get it. I uh, actually did not enjoy that game too much. Yeah, I really did not. Not yeah. as pleasant. I mean, it it's, takes it's the symbols are just weird. Yeah. The rules well, are not the well rules, done. The rules are really not well done because they uh -huh. don't explain what to do with those. Well, yeah. They don't they explain don't what see, the little deck is. And I understand that. that like they're supposed to ex they're supposed to like uh, it tell you you know this is what this is for this is. But the thing that was confused is I swear to God I heard you say something about there has to be something in. And I'm trying to find it, and I'm like, that that's yeah, confusing me to, too. Because I swear, one, yeah, I heard that see. there's at least one rose in I kind of remember that. Yeah, and that's why I was like, okay, yeah, if that's the so. case, then we have to have one rose in our garden. But I was just like, that's just, ugh. It was somewhere, I know, I think I remember you saying, I think I remember reading something like that, but Cause that's the I thing think I was, it was a variant thing. I'm, I'm, I'm reading through the rules just to see if I can find that anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, here's a see page list for oh metal requirements. So let me see page six for metal requirements. Here's a review and how to play. Let's uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this. Oh, I... oh, the white rose counts as only one copy of any one plant symbol. So my score is even lower because I counted this. It's one of any. Oh, so, so I would have so I would have lost one. Two, it's a wild card, so three. like you had his nine thing, you could have it count as one of the ones that you're missing. Well, that's the thing. I have I have blue, green, red. I have a mushroom. Blue, green, red. Yeah, so I would have it count as a purple. And then you would get then the I would have gotten the whole the whole thing. So that's how that is. Yep. Yep. 